fill layers give you the ability to fill in an entire layer with a solid color, a gradient, or a pattern. The advantage of using a fill layer versus just filling it in with a paint bucket is that you can quickly change whatever color or pattern that you have with just a few clicks. Right now you can see I've got a red fill layer selected and automatically it'll give me a little um, layer mask. If I wanted to change this color to blue, it's simply a matter of clicking on the icon, double clicking, and then choosing the other color that I want it to be. When I say OK, that's why I can quickly um, change the color. To add a fill layer, go up to Layer, drop down menu, choose New Fill Layer, and then select the kind of fill layer that you want. If it's a solid color, as you see before, It'll ask you to give it a name, and we'll keep it just the default name, and then it'll ask you to pick the color that you want to fill it in. If it's a gradient, we'll go back to Layer, New Fill Layer, and choose a gradient. Again, it'll ask you to give it a name. When I say OK, this will bring up my gradient picker, and I can change the gradient style and also the angle that it's at, and the scale, everything else. We'll say OK. As with the other ones, to change it up, simply double click on the icon, and this is where I can customize the gradient and bring up the gradient editor. The final type is the pattern. Under layer, new fill layer, pattern, give it a name, and then choose the type of pattern that you want it to be. You can also adjust the scale or choose a predefined pattern from there. When you say OK, that way it's created. Do pay attention that you've got a layer mask that you can mask out specific areas and you can also adjust the stacking order just like a regular layer should.